RAP TT30 has finally launched its electric motorcycle, the T30. This becomes India's first electric motorcycle based on high-voltage architecture. To put it simply, it's similar to the charging gun used in electric cars. In terms of appearance, if you look closely, you'll see some differences between the two variants. For instance, if you check the rear tail, one variant has grab rails while the other doesn't. Below that, you can see the tail light in one variant, whereas the other has no tail light at all. Talking about the looks, you'll notice a large disc brake at the front, which enhances the bike's appearance. It looks like a slightly heavier bike. The front has a 300mm disc brake, while the rear features a 200mm disc. Speaking of brakes, the bike comes with dual-channel ABS. The front end has a slight resemblance to certain models, and you'll find upside-down forks. As for the headlight, it has an ultraviolet look, giving it a distinct face. The middle section has two LEDs. The middle part of the bike is quite plain, utilizing large components. The overall design is complex, and you'll find a split seat with T3O inscribed on it. If we look down, the swing arm seems stylish. It has a mono suspension that is adjustable. Regarding specifications, it features a 5.4kWh battery pack, claiming a real range of 150 kilometers. The motor is rated at 20 to kilowatts, producing 70 newton meters of torque and 30 HP, allowing it to accelerate from 0 to 60 kilometers per hour in just. There are three riding modes, comfort, power, and sprint. Another great feature is the onboard charger, so you don't need to carry an extra charger. You just need one cable that connects directly to the bike for charging. Now, regarding deliveries, they mentioned that the first deliveries will start in Chennai and Bangalore, with a booking price of one. Phase 2 will also cover Delhi and other areas. This is India's first bike based on high-voltage systems. What does this mean? The advantages of high-voltage systems include that this bike operates on a high-voltage architecture. Whether it's the motor or battery, you may have heard of Tatra IG. This bike operates on a 240-volt architecture. The company highlighted several benefits. A high-voltage system results in lower current, leading to reduced heat generation. Less heat means lower losses, and your battery won't degrade easily, extending its lifespan because of this. They didn't feel the need to incorporate any cooling systems. The warranty is also impressive. 8 years or 80,000 kilometers, which is similar to other electric vehicles. Home service will be provided, so your bike will be serviced at your home. However, one downside is the battery size compared to competitors like the Armentis or the Ultra V and F77, which have larger battery packs. I've created this video for you to provide quick information. Let me know what you think of this bike priced at 240,000 what you liked and what you didn't feel free to comment.